We all have those moments that indisputably change our lives forever. For our family, it was June 23rd, 1994. Until that point, we'd been the picture-perfect family with loving parents and five happy kids. Then the unthinkable happened. Our brother Luis was spinal cord injured in a car accident that left him paralyzed from the chest down. It devastated us all. He was barely 18 years old, a high school graduate with the world at his feet. It fundamentally changed our family forever. It wasn't until 2008 that we found a way to channel our pain into something positive. At that time, Luis was training to take part in the New York Marathon. My sister Carolina took me to try to use a new pool at the YMCA in our hometown of Greenwich, Connecticut. When we got there, we noticed that there wasn't even a ramp there to access the facility. It was then that we thought, if this is difficult for me, how difficult must it be for the millions of people like me who have been devastated by paralysis, who can't afford a wheelchair, and don't have access to rehabilitation? Those years of sorrow and hurt turned into a passion, and we knew we had to do something. We had to restore the dignity, freedom, and independence of those millions of people who are suffering from paralysis and its reality on a daily basis. And so we took a huge leap of faith and together set up the Walkabout Foundation to fund research into a cure for paralysis, to provide wheelchairs to the developing world, and to deliver rehabilitation at the point of need. We believe a cure for paralysis is within our grasp. So far, we've pledged more than one million pounds to support research and are proud to be part of a pioneering project being carried out by Dr. Edgerton, who is here with us tonight from the University of California, Los Angeles. You should realize uh, from the perspective of Walkabout Foundation is that they are contributing significantly to multiple aspects of the problems associated with spinal cord injury. And it ranges from the very practical, immediate need of individuals with wheelchairs to keep them active and maintain their health, but they also enable us to go further to address these more complicated problems that's associated with spinal cord injury. We're at the edge of really being able to identify some interventions that is going to make a difference in the well-being of individuals with spinal cord injury. We have not been in such a position in my lifetime. Now we know some things that it's highly likely will be very effective that can help a lot of people. While we are striving for that cure, there is a huge job to be done to bring life-changing wheelchairs to some of the 59 million people across the world who don't have access to one. We're doing everything we can to get the right chairs to those who need them most urgently. To date, we've distributed nearly 7,000 wheelchairs to children and adults in need in 16 countries across the world, all personally fitted by our expert teams to every individual's unique needs. That is, 7,000 people whose lives have been changed, who have been given back their dignity, freedom, and independence. But a wheelchair is just half the story. At Walkabout, we say that wheelchairs change lives, but we know that this is just the first step. Having been paralyzed myself at the age of 16, I know that being unable to walk shouldn't stop you. I was fortunate enough to have had access to first-rate rehabilitation, learn to live with my disability, and above all, not to let it stop me. Unfortunately, in many developing countries, people do not have access to such rehabilitation. Rehabilitation allows people to build better lives for themselves. It gives them independence. It teaches them how to live with their disability. It gives them the opportunity to meet people around them who've been through the same thing. It helps those that support them, their families, to teach them what it means to live with a disability. At Walkabout, we want to take our mission one step further. We want to truly change lives and provide people around the world with the same opportunity that I had. This is why in Haiti, we have plans to fund a rehabilitation center. I truly hope this will be the first of many walkabout rehabilitation centers to come so that we may change everyone's lives.
today, we're committed to finding a cure for paralysis and to donating wheelchairs to improve the lives of those in the developing world. We're passionate about what we do because when you really understand what living with paralysis is like, you can't help but want to do something about it. Our mission is simply to change the world for one person, one wheelchair at a time.